few months ago, I looked at some old puzzles made by Rubik's, like the Rubik's 15 and Rubik's Shells. Today, we have three more puzzles along the same lines, that used to be made by Rubik's but aren't anymore for one reason or another. The Rubik's UFO is a relatively popular puzzle that was made in the early 2000s. The puzzle is similar to a square one, with cuts going straight through the middle. The top and bottom sections can slide independently, and there are three cuts splitting the puzzle into halves. The object, as may be expected, is to match the colours. There were two variations of this made, one with translucent green plastic, and the other with opaque grey plastic. Originally, the puzzle came with a stand to make it look like it was hovering like a UFO. This puzzle is fairly common and can be found on eBay quite often. A couple years earlier, the Rubik's Rings were released. These are a pseudo 3D puzzle with a couple dozen plastic beads in yellow, blue and red. These are caught in two intersecting rings which can be rotated through to mix up the beads. One interesting thing is that the beads can't move unintentionally due to a very innovative mechanism that locks the beads into only moving one bead at a time and clicks them into place when they've moved. This is a fairly easy puzzle to solve despite the apparent restrictions as so many pieces are identical to each other and the positioning doesn't really matter. The puzzle that was still being made as of a few years ago was the Rubik's Brain Racker. At first glance, this looks impossible to turn, but the keychain turns and allows you to remove one of the pieces. At this point, it becomes clear that it's actually a 3D sliding puzzle, much like a 15 puzzle. Each piece is coloured one of four colours and has a number on it. There isn't really one single solution, but various patterns that can be solved into. It's possible to solve it in a Sudoku-like pattern so no two adjacent pieces have the same colour and every pentagon has all five numbers, but this is a bit difficult to figure out. This puzzle actually has millions of times more positions than the original Rubik's Cube, as individual pieces can be rotated, making it quite a bit more difficult. It's interesting how Rubik's doesn't make these puzzles anymore, as they are absolutely fascinating and quite fun to play with. Instead, they seem to be focused on electronic games that aren't really as fun or as interesting. Oh well. Hello, this is just an after the video is over, a uh, little improvised spiel. Um, uh, I just wanted to say a couple things. Uh, first of all, thank you a lot for getting me over a thousand subscribers. Um, I genuinely never expected that to happen. I expected maybe two to three hundred ever, so to get this is fantastic. Thank you so much for that. Um, secondly, uh, I apologize, I'm really sorry for the uh, delay that it took to get this video out. The truth is, is that I didn't really have any good ideas for videos, um, but the good news is, uh, thanks to a guy, you probably haven't heard of him, uh, Nathan Wilson, um, he gave me a few ideas um, to at uh, the last competition I went to, uh, and so there should be more videos coming out more regularly in the near future. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, thanks. <laughs>